Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Tanya Lawrence, and this is our first show with Tuesdays with Tanya. I'm really excited to be here with all of you. I talked about the fact that there's so much negativity on TV, in the media, uh, on reality shows. Everywhere you go, there's something negative happening, and I wanted to be a part of the solution, bringing to you stories about inspirational women all around the world who are doing amazing things things, who are super positive, who overcome obstacles in hopes that we can create some type of network or or group of people around the world that know that there's somewhere that they can turn to for information that's going to inspire them and empower them. And my first guest, I am just so excited about her. I met this young lady uh, in Mexico. We were on a trip together and it, we sat down, I knew of her, but we sat down at the same table at a dinner event and we started doing selfies together. And just right then I knew she was my girl. And ever since then we've been, every time we meet up, link up, we were just in Vegas together. We have a great time. We had the opportunities for our husbands to meet and connect and they were kindred spirits too. So there's always lots of laughs, lots of fun. But when I tell you she's dynamic, she is dynamic. Her name is Michelle Woods, but known to most as Shell B. Woods. And she is a um, con- costume uh, consultant and excuse me, sorry, and a uh, stylist. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, if I had the opportunity to go shopping for a living, oh, it would be a dream come true. But how about this? She has a whole career designed around picking out fabulous clothes. And um, if you follow her, you will by the end of this show, you start following her, you will see her her closet is amazing. But picking out fabulous clothes, being a wardrobe consultant and just doing amazing things. But it didn't just start from her just saying, oh, this is something I want to do. She has a skilled eye and a trained eye with a heart for design. So she she's one of the best out there. So you will definitely want to be on the lookout for Shell B. Woods. She actually received a degree in fashion merchandising from the American Intercontinental University, which is in Atlanta, where she still resides and works as a wardrobe, uh, wardrobe excuse me, costumer and stylist in film and TV. Check this out. She's worked with Nike, Ford. She worked on a Fox TV series called Atlanta S2. She's worked on Warner Brothers Entertainment Projects, DC Comics. She's worked with retailers across the country. When I'm telling you, she is someone that if you have a passion or a dream and you're saying, you know, how do I do this? How do I break into this industry? She is the type of female that would be able to say, hey, here's what you need to do. Here's what you need to think about. Uh, She's also been focused featured in Voyage Atlanta as a trailblazer and influencer. So I am so excited to bring up this queen, my sister girl, Miss Shell B. Woods. Hello, Shell. How are you? We're getting ready to bring you on air. Oh, my God. That was so... Oh, my God. When I hear that, it's like... It's so fabulous. <laughs> but then- let me tell you, but that didn't happen overnight. <laughs> it took years to get here. And it's like, I'm just getting started. Just getting started. But thank you. And it's an honor for you to uh, to be on your show and that you're doing this. And it's like, it's so needed. It's so needed. Yes. Need because there, there are so many yeah. powerful, awesome women around the world. And to be able to showcase them and their talents um, is something that I think needs to be done more and more. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to have you here and have the world know about you. Um, let's start with this, mm-hmm. because people, now that I said it, are going to want to start following you and want to know where, the fo- where to mm-hmm. follow you. Where should people follow you, Shell? Uh, uh, Instagram and it's Shell B Woods. Shell, as far as a uh, short for Michelle, mm-hmm. so it's not Shelby. It's uh, C H E L L E B Woods. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm Facebook. Everything is under Shell B Woods. My website is Shell B Woods. So it's all all the same. All right, <laughs> it's all congruent. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> 
let me fix that here. I had it there. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So people, there it is on the screen. You can start following her at Shelby Woods after the show. Don't don't do it now because you'll see your alerts and get busy and start getting distracted. But let's find out some <laughs> more about the fa fabulous Shelby Woods show. How did you find out about the fam our fashion industry? What made you become interested in it? Hmm. You know, it's so funny. And I'm, I'm going to keep this short. But um, I remember when I was like five, six, I used to actually secretly tear fabric from the from my mom's like skirts and dresses <laughs> like with my little kid scissors mm -hmm. and I used to make like uh dresses or skirts whatever and have um and like dress like my Barbie dolls and like march them down the hallway <laughs> Oh, like okay. napkins, anything I could find. My mom would tell you anything she could find. So it's so crazy. Like that, uh, like that burning desire as a kid, like, like it just follows you. Like what you love, it just follows you. So honestly, it started from there, but, um, I sold like everything online. Like I just love merchandising. Um, nice. I even worked, like when I worked in corporate, I always had this side hustle of selling. Like I was the handbag lady in All corporate. Right. I used to sell handbags out of my trunk. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just always had a, you know, it's like that burning desire. It just never goes away. What you love, it just never goes away. And uh, coming into the industry, it wasn't even on my radar. Wow. Um, it's so funny. Working in the film industry, it wasn't on my radar. Um, I just wanted to be more so independent, you know, like freelance. And uh, I got a call one day. Um, I don't even know who referred me to this commercial, but it was a one day uh, opportunity that started this working mm -hmm. on a commercial. And that was Nike. Nice. As, as an assistant, I still don't know who referred me to that, but it started from there. Um, just doing Nike and then going on to other commercials and then eventually getting into film. Um, yeah, it's just I just kept I just keep going. That's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that was one of your recent posts. And that there are so many people that responded to that. Yes, yeah, just keep going. Keep one, going. one day you look up and you say, I'm still here. I did it. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I, I find that there is typically a common thread when someone is really good at something or they have a prominent career in something, you'll mm -hmm. look back over the course of their life and the thing that they've been good at or the most successful at or uh, happy doing, which is very important too, there, there's just some common thread, some commonality. So I, I encourage women and people in general to look at that one thing that's been constant in their life. So your careers may change, your, your jobs, your titles, your roles, um, but there's going to be something that's going to be constant. And for you, it seems to be that it was fashion and being in the, and the uh, ability to pick things out and style things. So Yes, I, I'm just so excited to have you here. You know, um, when you say it wasn't really a plan, but here it is. You are doing big things on movie sets, on uh, TV, at TV studios. What has been an obstacle once you said, you know, this is something I want to go after? What's been an obstacle that you had to overcome? And how did you over had how did you overcome it? Because obstacles are the things that really shut people down. They might hear a no and think that's it. It's not for me. They something may come up in their lives. But what's something that you had to overcome that someone else may identify with? Oh man, you know what? Those no's are good. You we need those no's. Mm. because you you have to be confident in what you do you have to believe like I got this like um like that burning desire or doing what you love uh like you said it's like it's there for a reason like mm -hmm. we all have a purpose of of filling or serving or or whatever uh so it's my obstacle is at first is like oh my god can I do this mm -hmm. you know like you know doubting that doubting that oh my god that voice or that left side shoulder <laughs> that that person on that left side like oh uh, no you're not you know not necessarily worthy but uh do you really have the talent do you really have the skills you know like that doubt that is a big obstacle uh more so that 
I had with myself that I had to overcome and knowing that, you know, I got this, I'm good at this. Uh, hell, I studied this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so that doubt, uh, getting over that, you just got to dive in, just dive in the ocean and go for it. So l- listen, you just brought something up. Did you go to school and study fashion and then wait to get started in the industry? It, it wasn't like right mm-hmm. after no. Oh God, no. I went, I studied merchandise, fashion merchandising when I moved here in 03. Wow. <laughs> 2003 with the hopes of opening a boutique store. That's what I, I, that was a, that was a dream back then. Of course I want to do bigger things. That's just a personal uh, goal, but yeah. Oh, that was 2003. I studied merchandising and I just keep just, I don't know, stabbing at it. Mm. So you went to school, you then Mm -hmm. went into the corporate field and Mm. then really moved towards what your goal, your passion and your dream was. Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting because um, my husband and I, we, we were with some friends and we sat with a group of about eight young ladies who had just graduated from college. And that was a big thing for them, a shocker that they graduated from college and their idea that after their degree, these jobs would be there just waiting for them six figures right away. And I think it's it's important for young people and people of all ages to know that the success that you see on TV didn't happen overnight. Many of those people have been in their fields and have been working very hard for many years. And one of the the services Mm -hmm. that I see that we do um, as a society now is everyone gets a trophy. Mm. Everyone gets a hand clap growing up for something that that wasn't even worthy so that when people Mm -hmm. are going into the real world, they expect that same thing to happen. And that's not the way it goes. So it's very important that people get to see people like you who had a Mm -hmm. dream, who had a passion, who had something that they were good at. But in the interim, there were some bills that needed to be paid. Right. And and so you may have had to do something that you didn't necessarily want to do in order to get Mm -hmm. to where you are now. So, wow. Yeah. Thank you for that. So I, yeah, (laughs) all of that, that part. So for you, what would be like your dream client, your dream job? What what would it be for you? You know, um, a lot of people ask as far as like working with like, you know, celebrities or whatever, because when we're on sale, you, you work with people that would probably, when you see them, you wouldn't know what to say, but um, compared to working with them and working with like professional women, which I love dressing professionals, like, you know, people in marketing, real estate, whatever, but I, that is what I love. So I really don't have like this fantasy to dress like a big celebrity. Mm -hmm. Um, It's more so professional women. I just like to keep going with professionals that I love doing that. I love uh, recreating uh, as far as the lifestyle of, uh, of a brand when it comes to that person and doesn't matter what field they're in. And that's it. I love doing that. So someone, someone's in uh, a field or they're going out to start a career and they need to brand themselves. They call Shelby Woods. And they say, you know, I need to look the part for this position because you dress for the part that you want, right? I need to look the part for this position. And then you do what? I, okay, so let's start with the question here. Some people will say what they want. (laughs) And then it doesn't really turn out that makes sense. So I only want to question. You're breaking up just a little bit, Shell. Can you hear me? I am. Okay. I can. What about now? Okay, that's much better. Yes. Yeah. So I heard you say you maybe my questionnaire. Yeah, I start with the questionnaire because uh, some people say like, "Oh, I want to do this. I want to look like this. I want to be branded like this." But the questionnaire is to really dig deep because. 
that's when you really get the real answers, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, So basically from that point, it's like you, I, I basically see exactly what you want from my questions. They're like questions that you would never think of that make you think. So if you're saying I want to rebrand and I want to wear this and this and that, but it's not about what you really want to wear. A lot of people think like it's all about what you wear, but it's really how you feel. Mm. It's all about how you feel like, because you could be a real estate agent and have a t-shirt and jeans on and some cute little flats and you knock it out because right. of your confidence and how you feel about you and trusting in what you can do. Mm-hmm. So it's more so starting there first, mm-hmm. but um, I just style in reference to like staple um, pieces. I love doing that because I don't believe in buying a lot of fast fashion. Mm-hmm. It's like a waste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Like, like good quality, sometimes expensive, but it's so worth it. But I just help people brand themselves um, like who they are. But it starts inside. I don't know if that makes sense, but it really starts inside. So my questions that I ask is, who are you? What do you want? Because what you told me a week ago is not what the question, the answer is to these questions I ask. So I just like, I really dig deep and I, I style from there. How the process works, you know, I, I go and I pick out everything. Just like a celebrity, I have everything waiting for my clients. I don't care what deal, what income bracket, it doesn't matter. Everybody get treated the same way. Um, but I have everything waiting for my client and they try it on and we just go through the whole day of trying on clothes. Wow. So that that is phenomenal because it's not just about the outside and how they look. It's about how they feel when they walk into that position, when they walk into that role, when they walk into that room. That's major. That is major. I I don't think a lot of people realize that. They think fashion, they think, oh, someone just looks cute in that outfit, but there there is so much more to it. Um, that, That is beautiful. I love that. That's awesome. Um, I'm a client. I'm going to be a client. So I got some places to go. We call them <laughs> <Okay. the village. laughs> All right. So um, I, I know that you've done a lot. I'm You're in Atlanta. That. And I know I am one of the curious mm-hmm. minds that wants to know, have you been on Tyler Perry Stage Studio yet? I have. Oh it's gorgeous. Gosh. Oh, really? It's, it's as it's, beautiful as the pictures? You know. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. But you know what? It's the feeling you get when you wow. go out there. It's, it's that feeling you get, like, because you know the history as far as it being a Confederate uh, army base. And it's like this African American male that owns this property now. It's like you feel that, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's. It, and it's a beautiful property, like the grounds, the actual landscaping, all of that is is beautiful. It's just as beautiful as going to a Warner Brothers studio. Wow. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I, I was yeah. disturbed when I saw the pictures the next day from his grand opening. I said, what? He didn't invite me? <laughs> Maybe I, my invitation got lost. I need to check the mail. I am sure he would have thought of me. Meanwhile, he doesn't know my name, but I'm sure he would have thought of me if he knew my name. So, wow, that is just so, it's such a groundbreaking time um, in film and you to be able to be a part of that and be there when something's just opening that means so much to people yeah. around the world um, from different cultures. So that that's phenomenal. Girl, you're doing it. I'm so excited for you. Oh, thank you. Thank so, you. Final question for you. Knowing Uh what you know now, everything that you've been through to get where you are in your career, Mm. what would you tell your younger self, even before you went to school, what would you tell your younger self Mm. to help you streamline to where you are now? (laughs) You know what just popped in my head? What? So you might have to bleep this out, but don't believe shit. Right. (laughs) You have to research. And that comes to everything. Everything is like, it seems like everything that you've been told as a younger person, Mm -hmm. you have to, like when you question something in your head, you need to look into it. 
you know, like that, the, all the like uh, myths, uh, you know, that, that you can't do this or you can't do that. It's like, you have to like really follow your, your belief. Like don't believe everything that's out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, but I would tell my younger self, uh, look into that. Don't believe what everybody say because some people will state facts, but they're really opinions. Mm. You know? Facts. Hashtag yeah. facts. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to piggyback on that and ask you okay. another question. Okay. Is it true or is this a fact that in order to be perceived as someone who is well off or has mm -hmm. great stature or position that you mm -hmm. need to wear name brand oh god i'm so glad you asked me that mm -hmm. you know what i am all about quality and i honestly don't like no. let's see here how can i put this because i hate uh advertising for brands when it when I say that I mean wearing the actual name on you I don't like that because there's so many quality uh, brands and pieces out there that we don't even uh, that the majority of people don't even know about mm -hmm. because of these popular popular brands you know like your Gucci and your Fendi and this and that but like I, I do not like that because I. Huh, how can I say this? I see it as a a more so insecurity mm. when you have to wear a lot of name brands because there's so many good brands out there, Australian brands that I love, London brands. Like it's really not all about those popular brands because it's like it's like I'm trying to prove something to someone else. Mm -hmm. So I like although I push don't as far as my clients, don't buy a lot of fast fashion because it's actually a big problem with the fast fashion right now. Um, as far as it being a waste, like it's one of the uh, biggest wastes right now in the world mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to fast fashion and as far as the disposal of it. But um, but anyway, back to as far as brands, like it's all about quality. I think just wearing uh those flashy clothing, and I'm sorry I'm going on about this, but I really dig deep into this with my clients. Like, you do not have to wear something where you don't even have an investment in. Mm. Oh, <laughs> teach, girl, teach. You know, yes. You know, it's, it's more so like independent brands, and they have the same quality as these popular brands. It's like, uh, you, like, why? Like, it's like, ask yourself why, why do I, why am I wearing Gucci from head to toe? Why am I like, it's nothing with, you know, wearing, uh, name brands, but you don't have to like more so advertise it. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you don't have to advertise for something that you don't even have an investment in, or really sometimes they don't even give a crap about you wearing it. Right. So, I, <laughs> so I'm, I'm so glad so, no. that you addressed that because I think people sometimes yeah. feel a pressure to have mm -hmm. a certain brand or to go out and spend mm -hmm. money. They don't have to have a certain brand, but that has nothing mm -hmm. to do with how fabulous you are from the inside mm -hmm. out and how you carry yourself and how you come across. Mm -hmm. So it's great to hear that from someone who is a fashion mm -hmm. expert and someone who's in the industry. And I hope people mm -hmm. can now feel a little bit more confident in themselves mm -hmm. and what they wear and mm -hmm. uh, how they carry themselves. So Shelby Woods, I'm going to put your hey, information. You know Go ahead. I want, most of the actors that I do work with, guess what? They don't wear that stuff like that. They, wow. they don't advertise like that. That you know, is interesting. They're, they're not, and this is not new money. You know, right. it's not new money. They've been in the business for years, but they don't do that. So you have to think about that, you know? That that yeah. is a very good point. You don't see the uber rich wearing name brands. They're investing their money into uh, stocks or businesses or their legacy and making mm. sure they have something that they can pass on. Um, 
So yeah, very, mm. very valid point. Yeah. Thank you. Shao, you've been yeah. fabulous. Thank you so much for being our first mm -hmm. guest on mm -hmm. Tuesdays with Tanya. I, I couldn't have had a better mm -hmm. one. So thank you. I hope women are thank inspired you. to go out there and go after their dreams, even if it takes longer than yeah. they expected. Young ladies, young ladies, mm -hmm. pursue your mm -hmm. passion. If you have to work somewhere mm -hmm. in the interim, do it but pursue your passion. Mm -hmm. Life is short. Mm -hmm. It's not promise, but you have a mm -hmm. gift and you ne don't need to take it to your grave with you. Guys, mm. thank you so much for joining us on the first edition of Tuesdays with Tanya. We'll see you next Tuesday. God bless.